Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. Primo back again with another unboxing video. Today I have the latest Zobigo's Wrestling box from shopzobi.com. This is a $40 box. Comes out bi monthly ish, I think. I think it's supposed to be bi monthly. Sometimes there's some really long spells. Uh, it's on the higher end as far as wrestling mystery boxes go. And there's usually less in it than other boxes. However, because of that, usually the autographs are a lot higher quality than other boxes. They manage to get a lot of like current WWE superstars and stuff that other companies can't get. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, this box actually has two autographs instead of the normal one. Don't know if it's a tag team or just two separate ones. I haven't seen any spoilers yet, but I've heard some really good things, so I'm really excited. All right. Let's get ready for the unboxing. So, thank you. So, I want to say they said this was going to have, like, an 80s theme to it. Could be wrong, though. Might have my uh, boxes mixed up. That's happens in this industry. Let's see. T-shirt on top. Let's see what that is. Ooh, I'm guessing it's Jake the Snake. And it is. Yep. Pretty sure, yeah, that looks like Macho's glasses, maybe. Thinking this is supposed to be the Cobra. Could be wrong, though. Yeah, definitely thinking this is uh, when the Cobra bit the Macho Man. Nice reference, actually. You know, it's a good one if I have to think about it a minute before deciding. Usually there's a pin, but I don't feel one this month. Guessing they skipped it. Feels like two separate autographs, so probably not a tag team. Let's see who's up first. It is JSA. As is pretty much everything they do. And it is. Ah, Thunder Rosa. Great wrestler, not a bad hit. I have gotten her in another box, unfortunately. Really would like to get her uh, Lucha Underground persona. But she has definitely uh, caught fire in recent years, so... Not a bad hit at all. So I'm guessing this definitely does not have an 80s, 90s theme if Thunder Rosa was in there. Let's see who's the second one. Once again, JSA. But it is. I hate when they put stuff on there. Double A Arn Anderson. Once again, a nice one. Absolute legend. Have gotten him in another box, unfortunately, so that's a bummer. I think I've gotten a couple of him. He's gotten around recently. Looks like they went with kind of an AEW theme this time. Let's see. Still a little, uh, thank you from JR. So yeah. Holder scratched. I thought it was a picture at first. So there we go. A Hall of Fame legend. Probably in the future if she ever gets the chance. The t-shirt, reminiscing one of the nightmares of my youth. Not a bad box for the value at all. Like I said, just a bummer that both of them have appeared in other companies' boxes fairly recently, so... What can you do? There's only so many wrestlers out there signing. Alright, if you enjoyed this, shoot that thumbs up. 
Anything to say? Any comments at all? Shoot them down below. You know, I love to hear from you guys. Ding that bell so to be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button over here so you don't miss any videos. Especially, don't miss the video with the giveaway announcement for this autographed Bret Hart Funko Pop. Uh, that will be go I will be giving this away on July 1st. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you follow everything. Get done on this. You're not going to want to miss out on that. So always be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Trust me.